five big O tires, the team you trust. Little girl from Springville has come up with a way to support Utah's law enforcement officers that's very sweet and a little crunchy and even nutty. In this week's Behind the Badge, ABC4's Rick Aaron tells us it's not a half-baked idea. Eight-year-old Helena Mateer is too young to understand all of the issues surrounding police morale, but she does know one thing for certain. It's impossible to be sad while you're eating a chocolate chip cookie. When Helena watched news coverage of the May 30th riot in downtown Salt Lake City, she felt bad for the policemen and women on the front lines. This shouldn't be treated that way. She was just in tears. It was really upsetting for her and our younger daughter to see law enforcement being attacked the way that they were. Helena figured the solution was some lovin' from the oven, fresh baked cookies from a store called Chip. And they always make me feel better, so I thought they could make them feel better. Helena's father, Jordan, is from Scotland, and her mother, Crystal, is the daughter of a veteran from a strong military family. They raised some money from neighbors, and with Helena, her younger sister, and baby brother, started delivering boxes of cookies to local police departments, starting with the Santa Quinn PD. This made me really happy when I got to deliver them, and so I wanted to do more, so I just asked my parents to raise more money so we could deliver more. They found most officers' default setting is accept cookies, so they kept going to police precincts, sheriff's offices, and highway patrol stations, 50 agencies in all, often delivering to the graveyard shift staff between midnight and 5 a.m. That's the time they get their leftover pizza crumbs. You know, they don't get a lot brought into them, and they don't get a lot of interaction in the evenings. It was emotional when you watch a majority of your officers start crying because this has really hurt them and really affected their families. These officers serve us in every way imaginable. They risk their lives for us, and just to do small deeds of kindness for others and to serve those who serve us. We've delivered over 2,600 cookies. It's about uh, 292 boxes. Right at the moment, we're looking to raise to deliver to 86 more departments. That would be the, the balance of the departments in the state. Their most recent drop-off was in their hometown of Springville. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. I'm Officer Carter. What's your name? Helena. Helena. What do you got there? Cookies. Sweet. That's awesome. Thank you very much. They normally don't really get treated really nice because of all this stuff going on. Um, but when we delivered the cookies that made them feel better. How about some bones? <laughs> the Matiers are planning a summer road trip to visit the rest of Utah's 86 law enforcement agencies, but they do need to raise a little money to buy all of those cookies. If you would like to chip in a little dough, we have a link to their GoFundMe page on our website, abc4.com badge. For Behind the Badge, I'm Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.